Hey YouTube, you know how I always said that I was gonna order that piston and stuff, and uh, like every night I said, yeah, I'm gonna order the piston for this thing now tonight and stuff. Well, I finally did, and I also ordered that jet kit. Came out to a hundred and twenty dollars. So it's pretty much the rest of my money. I don't have much left, so that's where I'm gonna have to stop the project. But uh, I'll have it running. Um, there's still a few more things that I'll need. They're just little. Uh, first of all, I'd like to get some shock covers, because the shocks, you know, they're not bad looking, as you can see, but they ain't the prettiest. Uh, well, the rear one isn't. I just did a quick up spray paint job. I'm gonna, I was gonna replace that sometime anyways. Because I want to get something different. I hear the Banshee shocks uh, fit on here and they're a little better. Uh, let's see. Chain. I didn't get a chain roller, I just put that rubber piece on there. Anything will work, I just put the rubber piece on. Chain rollers barely even roll anyways. Uh, twist throttle. Pretty weird grips. But, they're in good shape and I kind of like them, they're kind of big. Same grips that were on last time. Lights aren't going to be worked in. I'm probably going to need a new wiring harness. So, uh. Yeah. So I'll probably see if I can go out and find another wiring harness for this thing. And, uh. That's normal. None of this stuff is broken in yet, anything. Yeah, that or something just needs to get tightened yet. Anyways, here's what I want to talk to you guys about. Really, is um, you know how I said in my last video that I made, I broke that little piece. Well, I'm not even sure if I posted it yet, but I broke that little piece that went onto this uh, this here. As you can see, how far that's twisted and stuff. I broke the little piece that went down the side here. And I'm just, just double checking if that will be okay, you know, I don't, I really don't want to replace this whole side of the crank, this whole crankcase, because of that little piece, that bolts, I didn't really polish them up that well, I'll redo that before I put that back in. So, uh, actually I think they're just covered in oil for my hands. So, uh, just let me know if that's fine, um, this jug is just sitting on here, I just want to see what it kind of looks like and stuff. It's, I'm gonna, of course, I'll need to take it off to put the cylinder and the piston in and put in the new gaskets everywhere. Anyways, just, uh, you know, let me know if this is gonna be a problem because it looks like it's gonna fit tight in between the head and stuff and with the timing chains on it, but, uh, I just don't want it to fall down or something or get wedged somewhere and cause something to get seriously damaged, so, you know. I'm not going to replace this whole freaking half this engine here just because of the freaking that. So, it doesn't even feel worth it. So, you know, it would be appreciated if you can give me some advice for that. I'm going to see if I can mount it onto the ridges here somehow up in the head because it just comes all the way up to the head. Time machine goes around there. What the, what the hell is that? Meant? Time machine sprockets up here. I wonder if I can remove some weight off this thing to make it lighter. Actually, I shouldn't really, but I can polish it up too, even though it doesn't get seen. Here's the old piston. I went with a Numera, a Numera kit for change. You know, they're all over. They're all over freaking Craigslist. It's like unbelievable, but uh. I heard they're not too bad. Uh, they're made out of pretty good quality material, so you don't have to worry there. And uh, so yeah, I'll try that out. It's pretty much just a standard. It's the exact same.